Grand Michigan is located 20 miles west of Flint and 80 miles northwest of Detroit, and at one time was one of the busiest junctions in the state of Michigan, handling upwards of 140 trains a day, divided between priority mail, general freight, and passenger. The historic depot, built in 1903, serviced both the Grand Trunk and Ann Arbor railroads throughout the early 20th century. Two years after its opening, it was almost completely destroyed by a fire, but was quickly rebuilt and reopened. While the heydays of the depot are long gone, it still sees trains from Amtrak's Blue Water service between Chicago and Port Huron, as well as trains from Canadian National, the Great Lakes Central, and the Huron and Eastern. The former Grand Trunk East-West trackage is now the CN Flint Sub, while south of Durand is known as the Holly Sub. The former Ann Arbor, Maine, is now operated by the Great Lakes Central, which crosses the CN on a diamond northwest of the depot. It's a cold, cloudy, and somewhat windy Saturday morning in mid-February 2018, as we see a BNSF-loaded coal train backing through the Port Huron Y. BNSF operates loaded coal trains over the CN between Cicero, Illinois, and Durand, where the trains are interchanged to the Huron and Eastern, a nearly 400-mile Genesee and Wyoming property acquired from Rail America in 2012. The coal trains are staged in the yard north of the depot, where the HESR picks them up for the trip north to Essexville. Westbound Manifest M399, a daily train between Toronto, Ontario and Champaign, Illinois, hustles toward the Diamond and Depot in Durand. CNC44-9W 2618 leads BC Rail C40-8M 4614 and a freshly repainted Union Pacific AC44 number 7106. Regarding the coal train, the crew has picked up a CREX Jeevo and will run light to Flint, where the power will be kept until the train is unloaded.
A few miles west of town, Newberry Road crosses the CN Main on a wooden bridge. Eastbound Manifest M396, a Memphis, Tennessee to Toronto freight, slowly approaches the bridge on the siding track. It will meet westbound Toronto to Gary, Indiana train M397 in Durand. A short westbound A451 approaches the Newberry Road overpass in the early afternoon.
As A451 approaches the end of the double track in Bancroft, eastbound local L502 can be seen approaching. L502 operates between Battle Creek, Michigan and Toledo, Ohio, and will work the yard north of Durand, picking up and setting out cars, before turning south down the Holly Sub toward Pontiac and Toledo. A very late running Q149, a Montreal to Chicago stack train, motors westbound out of Durand. The trailing units behind the SD60 are a former CSX X Conrail C40 8W, now lettered for GECX, and an Illinois Central SD70. 